I found this combination on stream today. It's so broken that I really think it's going to be nerfed. We're going to be able to go after this hero on January the 12th on the new server. She's like this guy that we could use Amethyst and get him kind of for free. Not really for free. You had to compete really well. And then after the event, if you didn't have enough Amethyst to get him, you could buy some more and get him. Not a good hero, by the way. This one, though, is actually a good hero. It's a tank that heals, a legendary radiant tank that heals, that has 30% defense to your whole entire team, gives us 30% more defense to the whole entire team once these reach 10 stacks, plus 30 resistance. We're going to heal the lowest person based off of her defense. Then we're going to do this to where we increase healing. All healing is increased by 50%. Plus, whenever she does her basic attack, she's going to heal somebody again based on her defense and remove a debuff. All of this is really strong because you could bring in a rare healer like Quarion and get 50% additional healing along with her tanking, and you're going to be able to make it through a lot of content. Where it gets broken, though, is when we bring in somebody like this. It is absolutely nuts. 50% additional healing with a guy like this is crazy healing that's not breaking the game though let me show you what happens with the heal right now now this isn't the breaking the game part is it going to be astronomical healing yes it will it's going to be insane healing because normally he'd heal for around fifty thousand. so now when we get this increase of 50 percent additional healing he's going to heal now for i missed it i think it went up to like eighty six thousand. Eighty six thousand healing but we still didn't receive the 30% additional defense that she'll give us once she reached 10 stacks. What makes it broken is when you then put on this legendary artifact. Now we use this legendary artifact with Garius in season one. It was still great, but it wasn't, it wasn't this great. It wasn't this broken. Now it's insane. So any part of overhealing is converted into a shield. Defense is what he heals off of. Skill haste gets us back to doing his ultimate faster. Now check this out. This is nuts. If you can get her from the event and you've got Garius and you're able to get the legendary artifact, if it's not nerfed by then, check out how big this shield is for your whole team because he heals the whole entire team. Overheal every time is gonna be massive. And we get like 100,000 heal once he gets those stacks up. There. That was 116,000 heal. And look at the shields. Look at the shields on our DPS. They are so fat that there's no way that anybody's going to break through those. Well, I can't say no way anybody. If we do the Vortex boss over time, the Vortex boss will hit hard enough. This Harpy hits pretty hard. Boom. It's not 114 heal that time. It's only 83,000 with overheal. But look at these shields. Imagine us trying to transition from getting epic gear into legendary gear. I don't think this event starts by then. I think we're going to be farming legendary gear before the event starts. But imagine trying to transition from epic gear to go into stage 7, 8, and 9 with this duo, with these fat shields, to then go and conquer the dungeons that we have to fight, to go do the Vortex boss teams. To me, this is crazy. This is a crazy amount of heal, which really wouldn't matter too much if we didn't have an artifact to be able to take advantage of the overhealing. Like the big heal is great. The big heal is fine. We've had big heals for before, but sometimes too much healing is, is too much. We don't need it. We don't need 80,000 heals. But when we can turn those into 100% of overheal as shields, they don't change it by January the 12th when this event starts. I've got Garius. He's fully booked out. I'm going to use him. I'm going to go after her, of course, and do well in the event. I'm going to pick her up, and I'm going to use her with him, and I'm going to get this legendary artifact because I have two legendary artifacts I can still pick up on my main account, and I will absolutely pick up this artifact and play these two together because I think it's the strongest thing that I've seen in this game by far. Let me know your thoughts on this down below. I think it's really exciting. We got some new videos coming out about all the burn heroes, a tier list for those guys. We did a tier list for the frost heroes already yesterday. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. I love the new frost heroes. I think they're some of the best ones out there, especially for the rare and then all the epics they have. Much better rare and epics than we have for electrocute or for burn. Thanks so much for watching guys. Appreciate your time, your love, your support. Be well and I will see you all in a video soon.